Kentucky's new cases of COVID-19 appear to remain on a plateau. Today, Governor Andy Bashir announced 166 new cases of the virus. That means the total number of positive tests since the state started keeping track has reached 8,167. More than 2,900 people have recovered, but 474 are in the hospital right now. Ten more people have died after getting the virus, bringing that total to 376. If you leave the house this weekend to go to a restaurant or hang out with friends while keeping your distance, Governor Bashir says it's vital you bring your mask along with you. Evening Edition's Mike Valenti joins us live outside the Capitol tonight with more about another request Bashir has for Kentuckians. Mike. Yeah, Nancy, as we all know for a while now, the governor has been talking about this positive peer pressure he wants to see online, whether that be uh, posting about healthy at work or healthy at home, just an effort to inspire others to be as safe as possible. Now he wants Kentuckians to take to social media once again and post about why they wear a mask. Despite federal health guidelines urging all Americans to wear a mask in public, the decision whether to wear one has at times become a sort of cultural and political flashpoint. And there have been several reports across the country of disputes over masks leading to violence. In a press call for the United Food and Commercial Workers Union today, a union rep said employees are afraid to ask people to wear a mask when they come into a grocery store. The governor appeared to hint at these growing divisions in his comments today. Every state that's reopening, they are highly encouraging this. This is not a, a battle between political parties or ideologies. It's plain basic public health guidance. In other news tonight, the governor announced $300 million in federal funding will be distributed to city and county governments. This money is meant to reimburse for COVID-19 related expenses incurred by those uh, uh, localities. But as uh, you'll learn tonight in our story at 11, the governor says more is needed. 